walk around the new features of NDPrint version 4.1. Um, as of this new release, we've totally changed the way the engine works under the hood. Uh, we no longer require printers to actually be shared uh, on the Mac that you actually run HandyPrint on. The only thing you need to do is to make sure that the printers are available for you to print on that Mac and all of those printers that are available to print will be automatically shared using the new version of HandyPrint. One nice feature of NDPrint is that we now support an unlimited number of virtual printers. To add a new virtual printers, for example, if you want to add one that will allow you to show uh, whatever you print on your Mac screen, uh, you just need to go and select Open on my Mac. And this will add a new virtual printer that will allow you to open uh, the print uh, stream from your iPad, iOS, uh, device uh, on your screen and let's say you're not happy with the name uh, of that virtual printer and you would like to change it you can just select the printer right click and say rename virtual printer and then rename it so let's say we are going to call that uh, open uh, on Mac and click OK and now the new virtual printer name will be open on Mac there's also a bunch of other virtual printer. One that's very useful is actually the one that allows you to save uh, whatever you print as a PDF in a folder of your choice. So if you select Save as PDF, then you can just go and select PDF here, select, and anything you will be printing now to this virtual printer called Save in PDF in folder PDF will be stored in that folder for you to retrieve later on. You can also add virtual printer to uh, mail whatever you print as a PDF or even add to iTunes as a PDF so it is easily made available as a book, a PDF book in your uh, iPad or iPhone device. And you can also select any application you want. So open with application will allow you to select an application. Like for example, if I'm going to go and say open with Google Chrome. I could set this application and now anything sent to that will open with Google Chrome. So this are, these are pretty much the new features of version 4.1 and I hope uh, they will uh, be useful to you and I hope that the printing will work even better than version 4.0 used to be.